12-year-old Mahendra Ahirwa cannot support his own body. His muscles are almost non-existent. This is how Mahendra sees the world. No child should be allowed to grow to 12 years of age without this having been dealt with. Mahendra's plight has touched people around the world. People have pledged £10, £5. We raised around about £12,500. Surgery is now possible, but will be risky and challenging. I haven't done this kind of surgery on a boy with his disorder before. And so it's for me, it's a first. The operation could kill him, but it's Mahendra's only chance of seeing the world as others do and leading a normal life. Mahendra's home is a remote village with a population of just 800. Here, life is simple, work is scarce, and medical health care is virtually non-existent. Twelve-year-old Mahendra was born with a condition called congenital myopathy, leaving the muscles in his body thin, weak, and underdeveloped. As well as not being able to walk, Mahendra is unable to lift his head and has an upturned view of life around him. Mahendra's mother, Sumitra, has three other healthy children. डॉक्टर <laughs> <laughs> Some villagers have branded the family as sinners, a strong belief reinforced by the local Hindu priest. Yadi mat pita buri buri sangat, buri sangat karte hain, buri karam karte hain, churi dakhati ya kisi se maar pi ya bestia bitti, kuch bhi kam karte hain. Is ki phal kiste. कोई ऐसा भी बोलता है तो सबकी वो सुनने पड़त सब सबकी सुनने पर मजबूरी है बिल्कुल With six mouths to feed Mahendra's mother and father can't afford to turn down work but Mahendra is too fragile to be left alone and must be taken along उसका मैं ये नहीं बता सकता हूं कि मैं 10 दिन लगा लेता हूं कि 20 दिन लगा लेता हूं कभी-कभी कहां पांच ही दिन लगे एक कोई महीना में कोई महीना में बिल्कुल नहीं लगे अपने वही घर के काम में लगे ऐसा मतलब खावे हैं गेहूं खर्चा कम पड़ा तो काम को भागे फिर अगर मैं वो पैसा होता या कर इतना कि हमारा तो मैं अभी तक तो उसके some villagers believe Mahendra is a burden and a curse. Mahendra's 
जी सोचत के भगवान दे तो आई ना इसे मोर कैसो दा मो दो ही बहुत थे socially condemned and excluded from everyday life mahendra can only watch as his sister and brother go to school although he's bright the school can't support mahendra's physical disability this leaves him isolated and lonely बच्चे खेलते रहते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि मैं भी खेल सकूं लेकिन मैं खेल नहीं पाता था अगर बच्चे इस तरह उस तरह खेलने चले जाते मैं अकेला पड़ जाता तो मुझे बहुत दुख होता अगर मेरे जीवन में कोई बदलाव मैं बदलाव ले आ सकूं तो मेरे गर्दन को कौन ठीक कर दे Mahendra's lonely existence could now be transformed. His condition has attracted the attention of people all over the world, including Liverpool-based mother of two, Julie Jones. It upsets me to see such a young boy in such a, a terrible state. You know, he just looks so poorly and thin and unhappy. A lot of the comments seem to be, "How can we donate?" I hope a legitimate way to offer financial assistance can be set up. Feeling compelled to help, Julie has created a fundraising page. It's really easy to set up a fundraising campaign. It takes approximately 10 minutes to enter all the information that you need. So I'm just putting the title in, the amount, and setting the target of £10,000. I just need to add a photograph now of Mahendra for the project. As much information as possible will help sell the campaign. Basically, that's it, and instantly the campaign will go live. It's online and accessible to thousands of people. But can help from 4,000 miles away really transform Mahendra's isolated life? Twelve-year-old Mahendra was born with almost no working muscles in his body. Mahendra को लेकर ये डर है कि Mahendra की ज़्यादा हालत ख़राब है. नीचे पत्थर की तरह रहता है. Unable to lift his head, Mahendra is believed to be cursed by many in his village. जब मैं देखता हूँ अपने शरीर को तो मुझे बुरा लगता है. इसलिए कि आदमी भी देखते हैं तो मैं सब इसलिए कि मैं देखता हूँ तो मुझे बुरा लगता है. But after learning of his condition, Julie Jones in the UK set up a global fundraising campaign. Her target is £10,000. I forgot about it for a week. And then it was only when I logged back in and realised, you know, there was a lot of donations rolling in. There's donations from all over the world. There's people that have donated from America, India, and lots of different amounts. People have pledged ten pounds, five pounds, twenty, fifty. Someone's donated three hundred pounds. The total is now twelve thousand six hundred and seventy-six pounds. So we've exceeded the target by over two and a half thousand pounds in less than a month. It's amazing. I'm over the moon. Delighted. The money raised means Mahendra will be seen by leading spinal surgeon Dr. Raj Krishnan. After 25 years working for the NHS in the UK, Dr. Krishnan is now based in Delhi. I came to India to deal with patients whose disorders were so horrendous that apparently no one in India wanted to touch them. He is the senior consultant at one of India's top private hospitals, 
where he specialises in complex deformities of the spine. I do it because, one, it's challenging, two, it's complex, it requires a lot of thinking and planning, and if their lives can be improved in any way, that gives me satisfaction. Julie's online fund will pay for travel and hospital fees, but he has offered to treat Mahendra for free. I would rather see a smile on the face of a child than make millions. Mahendra could now travel to Delhi for treatment that could transform his life. His father prays the journey will be successful. Before they leave, he invites the village priest for a special blessing. The next day, Mahendra's parents take blessings from the women of the village to bring them luck. Leaving the older children behind, the family head to the railway station. to begin the 400-mile journey to Delhi. It's an 11-hour journey throughout the night before the train pulls into Delhi. At the Indra Prashta Apollo Hospital, Dr. Krishnan will examine Mahendra and decide if he can help him. Mahender, kaise ho? Mahender, tumhara sir seedha karna ho, thik hai? Ab yahin pe rok ke rakho. Girne nahi dena. Isko hypotonia kehte hai. Muscles kaam to kar rahe hai, lekin itna power nahi hai. Hypotonia, sometimes called floppy baby syndrome, is detected and treated at birth in the UK. Intensive physiotherapy would have prevented further complications. The boy has stiffness. Because he hasn't been exercised, the legs have assumed that fixed position and the joint, the tendons, everything has adapted to that stiff position. Those are called contractures. He's got contractures in the elbows. I can't straighten them fully. He's got contractures in the wrists. 
with early diagnosis, Dr. Krishnan would have been able to do more for Mahendra. Now I'll tell you that the muscles of his muscles, which is why the man can stand straight, can stand very small. He's so bad. He's so bad. He's so bad. He's so bad. Okay, I'm going to say the truth. So you don't want to mislead me. The doctor was very good at his age. He was very good at his age. He was very good at his age. He was neglected for far too long. And this is the consequence. We'll correct what we can at this stage. Dr. Krishnan can do nothing to treat Mahendra's muscle disorder or his stiff limbs. But there's a chance he may be able to tackle the deformity in his neck. Thank you. Okay, the top. There we go. He orders a series of x-rays, a CT scan, and an MRI to determine if surgery is possible. It was a bit of a shock to me when I saw Mahendra. No child should be allowed to grow to 12 years of age without this having been dealt with years ago. The first thing Dr. Krishnan looks at is the condition of Mahendra's spine. Do you notice the curve there? It's bent to the right, isn't it? So it's adapted to that position. Parental ignorance, illiteracy, and possibly medical indifference contributes greatly to the development of these disorders and their progression. So the head tipping to one side has curved the upper thoracic spine. I didn't see neglected children like these during my UK stay here. I'm seeing them virtually every day. I think another year he would have become unstable. Mahendra's deformities are so severe, without treatment, a fall could break his neck or paralyze him. But today's tests offer a glimmer of hope. The deformity is not as severe as I thought it was on the MRI. And I think the surgery is now eminently doable and hopefully with minimal complications. The biggest risk to Mahendra during surgery will be anesthesia. अब तुम लंबा सांस लो बेटा। है ऐसे लो। ऐसे और लो। इसका ये देख रहे हो यहाँ भी ज़्यादा हिल नहीं रहा। ये देख रहे हो जब लंबा सांस लेते हैं हम लोग तो छाती फूलता है। इसका देखो। Mahendra has very poor lung function. It will affect his ability to tolerate the anaesthetic and survive surgery. खतरा तो है। Simple operation नहीं है। बहुत तेज बुखार हो सकता है। दिल रुक सकता है, chest complications हो सकते हैं क्योंकि इनके इसकी फेफड़े और diaphragm अच्छी तरह काम नहीं कर रहे हैं, क्योंकि chest infection हो गया तो जान को खतरा है। इतने साल से तुम्हारा गर्दन इतना टेढ़ा है, तुम चाहते हो सीधा हो जाओ या ऐसे ही छोड़ दें? तुम बताओ। चाहते हो सीधा हो जाए। और Monday operation है, ठीक है? Surgery could change Mahendra's life, but there's a strong possibility it could kill him. In Liverpool, news of Mahendra's imminent surgery has reached Julie. And she too is feeling nervous. I am concerned that this procedure, you know, is quite dangerous. It is a big worry, because I worry that what if this doesn't go right, then, you know, that's my fault. I am concerned that, you know, if there is any sort of dangers with this procedure, then Maybe he would have been better left the way he was. Six thirty a.m. It's time for Mahendra to go to theatre. He is looking forward to the life-changing operation that will give him a new view of the world. 
जब मैं तीन दिन के बाद जाऊँगा तो मुझे मकान साइ कर देखेंगे आदमी भी साइ कर देखने लगेगा और तुम भी साइ कर देखने लगोगे But his mother is trying to put on a brave face. अबे अगर मैं रोंग लगो ना तो वो भी रोंग लगे मैं डर डर बता रही तो वो डर लग रहा Mahendra's father has been at the hospital temple since dawn. Ha thodi tension to hai hi. Wo doctor ne bhi bata diya. Chhota mota hota kahin haath pair ka to baat lagti. Iska gardan ka operation hai bada operation hai. Matlab jab neend mein kho jayega ye thodi jagana mushkil padega thodi. Kya hota hai upar wala kya hai uski marzi ठीक करता है उसको ले लेता है The plan is to fuse the vertebrae from the base of Mahendra's skull to the top of his spine. A titanium plate will permanently keep his head upright. Making an incision along his back is the safest option, but for Mahendra this is far too risky. There is absolutely no muscle in the back of his spine or the neck there is just skin there isn't even fat it's just bones there it won't accommodate screws they will actually stick through his skin and possibly erode through in a few months that would be a disaster so dr krishnan is forced to reach mahendra's spine through his neck but a large incision here is also extremely dangerous The problem is I have concerns about the fragility of his skin. So if I do manage to fix everything but I end up with the skin dead then the risk of infection and further complications would be so catastrophic as to kill him. Mahendra's surgery will be uncharted territory. His head bent upside down to the right is the first case seen anywhere in the world. I have done extensive neck reconstructions for tumors major infections and so on but i haven't done this kind of surgery on a boy with his disorder before and so it's for me it's a first with the anesthetic being administered it's time for mahendra's mother to say goodbye fearing it may be the last time she sees him alive oh sab ab delhi le aaye dawai ilaaj ke laane तो सब ये डर है कि अगर ऑपरेशन हो तो मैं कुछ खतरा होगा मेहंदा खत्म होगा तो दुनिया का बोले के देख वो तो दिल्ली ले गई थी तो वो दवाई के लिए नहीं ले गई थी मारने के लिए ले गई थी उसने with a unique condition and almost no working muscles in his body 12 year old mahendra sees the world upside down excluded and demonized in his village his parents have brought him to delhi for a life changing operation jinda rahe to jo tak mero khatam ho jata bhagwan ko jo socha tumhe pioneering surgeon dr krishnan believes he may be able to straighten Mahendra's neck but Mahendra is weak and may not survive this groundbreaking operation I have to admit it actually is probably the first of its kind this surgery Dr Krishnan estimates surgery will take 4 hours but making the first incision exposes a major problem the muscle is practically absent so i don't want to go straight through into it oh dear oh dear there is no normal anatomy here this is the carotid artery and this blue structure is the jugular vein the carotid arteries and jugular vein are major vessels that supply blood to the neck face and brain That is the artery which you can see pulsating very well. In a normal child, 
they would be protected by layers of muscle and fat. That's abnormal, completely abnormal. With such challenging anatomy, there is very little room for error. If Dr. Krishnan accidentally cuts a major blood vessel, Mahendra could bleed to death. Scissors! Where is he? Come on, Michael, don't bugger about. Thank you. Finding the spine in vertebrae is taking more time and is far more dangerous than Dr. Krishnan originally anticipated. I have to find the esophagus, you see. I think I can feel it, but I'm not sure. If surgery is successful, it will transform not only Mahendra's life, but his mother's too. In her village, she is blamed for her son's disability. Dr. Krishnan has been operating for two hours and has finally reached Mahendra's esophagus. Thank God for that. This is the food pipe. It's a flat ribbon. If the esophagus is injured, the surgeon doesn't realize it, leaves it, and they die. Before Dr. Krishnan can expose the spine, he needs to identify and tie off the major vessels without damaging them. I can't really use scissors here because the big blood vessels are straight in front of you. I have no intention of being a speed freak and causing problems for him. I think safety first. Okay, artery forceps. Oh, God. Hmm. Mahendra's family still have no news and are unaware of the complications unfolding in theatre. Mahendra's been asleep three hours. Dr. Krishnan finally reaches the spine. That is the spine. Disc, vertebra, disc. So I've got... Uh, two levels above and three levels below exposed, but I need to refine it a little bit. The neck contains nerves that directly stimulate the heart. As Mahendra's neck is manipulated, his heart rate begins to drop rapidly. The anaesthetic team intervene quickly. So we have to give a little more anesthesia. Yeah. Stitch cutting. Most common reason is that maybe patient is responding to some stimulus. This is a stress response to surgery. With more anesthesia, Mahendra's heart rate returns to normal. It's the anesthetic which actually determines patient safety. Still unaware of the mounting complications in theatre, Mahendra's mother can do nothing but wait. <laughs> The next stage is to remove the discs between Mahendra's vertebrae. The disc acts as a shock absorber. That's what gives the spine the cushioning effect. That is the disc coming on. I'm taking the disc out at every level I need to fuse to create the space for the bone graft. I'm taking it off piecemeal. It's piecemeal extraction. With all the discs now finally out, a second team of surgeons extract fragments of bone from Mahendra's pelvis. Each piece will be placed into the gaps in the neck to fuse the vertebrae together. Using an ultrasonic bone cutter, the fragments of pelvic bone are cut into small pieces. They are placed into the gaps between Mahendra's vertebrae. Manet, wait, 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 wait. Give me the smaller punch, that ridiculous looking punch. Water 
देखे कहाँ भी लग रहा होगा कब देख लो To hold the bone graft in place and help fusion, a titanium plate will be screwed onto Mahendra's neck. Sloping, होता ना मतलब? Okay, locking screwdriver. Dr. Krishnan must ensure the screws don't damage the newly inserted bone graft. Julie, who raised the money for Mahendra's surgery, has put her life on hold and flown to Delhi. It's important that I can see the outcome for Mahendra. Going to the hospital, meeting his family, it's, it's all very exciting, but also quite scary. In the operating theater, an X-ray confirms the screws are in the correct place. Because the vertebrae are fused together, he's not going to be able to bend his neck or straighten it. I'll have to protect him in a brace for at least six weeks, if not longer. If this fails, we have a big problem. The next two or three days will be quite crucial. Hopefully, he doesn't develop an infection, so we have to watch him very carefully. We are not out of the woods yet. After ten hours in theatre, surgery is finally over, and Mahendra is taken to the paediatric intensive care unit. It's been an agonising wait for his parents. Hello, Mahendra. Mahendra. He's opening eyes. He's conscious. We don't want him conscious. We want him to be sedated. To be sedated right now. And sleeping all the time. All the time. No, no, no. It's all fine, okay, buddy. Ah, it's all okay. Okay. No, no, no. Good. Okay. Mahendra has survived surgery, but is now vulnerable to infection. So, infection को कदम करने के लिए ताकि नहीं हो. So you have to come back and come back. Because our clothes are not clean, you have to come back. In a day, one or two, you will get to meet the children. You can take both of them. So as many people come, the infection is less. Okay? Mahendra will remain sedated and in isolation for three days. Over the next 48 hours, he is monitored frequently. X-rays show his lungs are clear. So far, there's no sign of a chest infection. मौत के मुंह में ऐसे समझो, वो बच के भी आ गया तो हम समझ लो। हमारी भूख प्यास भी मिट गई समझ लो सब कुछ हमें अच्छा है। Dr. Krishnan has never operated on a child with such a severe deformity and wants to see how successful it's been. He encourages a nervous Mahendra to sit up for the first time. Nayota. Okay. It probably is still a bit groggy. Abad said, Rukke, teak lagra to me. Samne dek pareona, ulta to ni dek reo. Well, he's still a bit weak, but before the surgery, his head would gradually shift to the right and drop down. So at the moment, it's staying straight. The surgery seems successful. But an X-ray taken last night reveals a sudden problem with Mahendra's lung. As you can see, the left lung is opaque. We were worried about cardiopulmonary complications, which has already presented itself. Mahendra's airways are blocked with mucus. If he doesn't clear it by himself, it could develop into the fatal infection everyone fears. 
a spirometer will increase his ability to breathe more deeply by helping him to expand his lungs and clear out the mucus. While Mahendra's parents wait for him to recover, Julie is racing through the streets of Delhi. I'm quite nervous to see how the operation went and to see how his recovery is going. I pictured it in my mind that moment when I first see him. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to react. I don't know what to expect, really. I hope he's not in a really bad way. At the hospital, Julie is unprepared for the greeting she receives from Mahendra's mother. <laughs> and at the seriousness of Mahendra's condition. Just seeing them like this, it's just shocking, really. You know, it's shocking for a child to, to be like this and it's really sad. With no visible improvement, Mahendra remains dangerously at the edge of life. With a severely deformed neck, 12-year-old Mahendra has no one to play with and is excluded from everyday life. He has survived pioneering surgery to straighten his bent neck. But Dr. Krishnan has discovered a potentially life-threatening blockage in his lung. A weak chest prevents him clearing the mucus himself, so doctors must now intervene. If they don't, Mahendra could develop pneumonia and die. It's uncomfortable for Mahendra to endure, but it's the only way he will recover. The following day, an X-ray reveals treatment has worked. So all the concerns are receding now. I think he's out of danger. Now in recovery, Mahendra is able to meet Julie, who raised the money for his surgery. Hello, Mahendra. Hello. How are you feeling? You don't have to give anything back, Mahendra. Lots and lots of people care about you, and I just very pleased that they could help you. Taking it in a stride, isn't it? Because he knows in the long run, he's, you know, he's, he's going to be better. Bless him. It's a huge relief to Julie that Mahendra is out of danger and on the road to recovery. His parents are also extremely grateful. Jin Jin ne paise daye Mahendra ke liye, to unka bahut dua dena chahti hu main. बारह साल तक मेहंदे साह जैसा कूड़ा जैसा कचरा फेंकने आता ना ऐसा फेंकती थी सब घर मेहंद को आज मेहंद कहाँ है जहाँ कुछ ही नहीं देखा जहाँ देख रहा है मेहंद मेहंद के साथ मैं भी देख रही हूँ। Okay, so now your life and Mahendra's life will be easier. हम अच्छे हो रहे हैं ऐसे तो ऐसे हो गए अच्छा खुश हो रहे हैं। Mahendra is now out of intensive care and in a general ward. In a few hours, Julie must leave for the UK, but not before she sees him one last time. Football t-shirt, Liverpool, Mahendra. 
Since his surgery, nobody has seen Mahendra smile until now. <laughs> Got to go home. It was lovely to meet you. I'm glad I could help. Get better soon. Get strong. And enjoy all your new toys. Sad but happy. Happy to have helped him, but sad not to see him again, to be leaving. Mahendra's over the moon, he's overjoyed, he's not sad. Mahendra's treatment and surgery has cost just over £3,000, leaving more than £9,000 for any future operations. I'll probably follow him up for the next five years, at regular intervals. I know he's going to need further surgery, which will be probably less drastic than this, and I already have plans. Five weeks after his life-changing operation, Mahendra and his family have returned to their village. But life is very different. An anonymous donor has given Mahendra his own set of wheels. Mahendra is no longer excluded, but part of the gang. Surgery has not only freed Mahendra from a life of isolation, but it's liberated his mother. And there's one other big surprise. Mahendra's picked up a pen for the first time. Now that he can see and sit up straight, there's even talk of him attending school. I think it'll be wonderful to see how Mahendra does in the future when he grows into a young man. I think he's a remarkable boy.